All right, now we're going to look at fixed assets and creating a long-term liability to go with that fixed asset. A lot of times when you purchase a, a large item like a vehicle, computer equipment, you may take out a loan for that. So we're going to look at these together. The first thing that you need to do is make sure you have the correct accounts in the chart of accounts. You must have an account for an asset that you purchase. For example, you have a vehicles account, a furniture and equipment account. We're going to create a new fixed asset account for computer equipment. There's a fixed asset. We hit continue and we'll give it an account number. Name it computer equipment. Save and close. And now notice we have a new account called computer equipment in our chart of accounts. Now if we are going to uh, use a loan to pay for this computer equipment, we need to create a new long-term liability account. So this is a long-term liability account and we put the account number and the account name. Save and close and now we have a new long-term liability called computer loan. So now we are ready to set it up. Another very important list that we use is called the fixed asset item list. The fixed asset item list keeps track of all of our fixed assets. We're going to create a new fixed asset item for our new computer equipment. So we would name it. Here we would choose the asset account to use and that's why we have to have an asset account created for it and that's going to be the computer equipment uh, at fixed asset account that we have already created. We put in our description, we put in the date that it was purchased, and we put in the cost. You can put who it was purchased from here, uh, and you also put an asset description. You might want to put the location. You can also put the serial number, and you can also put if it has a warranty when that warranty expires. So we're going to hit OK to create our fixed asset and close the fixed asset item list. Okay, now we're going to create the actual loan for this computer equipment fixed asset. So we're going to go back to the chart of accounts, and we're going to go to the new uh, long-term liability account that we created called computer loan. We're going to double click on that to open up the register. And we will choose the account computer equipment. And this is actually going to be an increase because we are in the loan or liability account. So we are increasing liability by $5,000. And so we have now created a long-term liability loan for this computer equipment. If we go back to the chart of accounts, we can see that we have a long-term liability for computer loan, $5,000. We can also see that we have a $5,000 at fixed asset computer equipment. Now let's look at the neat thing called the loan manager. We're going to go to banking and then loan manager. And we have no loans, so we're going to add a loan here. Okay, we choose an account for this loan, and that's going to be the computer loan account that we created. Notice it picks up the balance. We can put the lender here, and so we probably bought this or got this loan from a bank. So we would choose we would choose whatever our bank is. We would choose the date, origination date of the loan is when we took out the loan, the original amount of the loan, and how long we have to pay off the loan. We're going to say we have five years, that 60, which is 60 months, and then we'll hit next. We will tell it the next due date for the next payment, so we'll say that's going to be January 1st, 
and then we'll put in how much we pay uh, on the principal with the interest. We can tell it how often to pay. We hit next and then we put in the interest rate and so we have a 5.9 percent interest rate. Then we will choose what account we want to pay it from. We want to pay it from our checking account. Notice the interest expense loan interest account is chosen here and the bank service charges account if there are any bank fees assessed with it or associated with this loan. So what that does is it automates our loan for us. So it will automatically uh, pay the loan for us on the next due date, which is going to be the January 1st due date that we put on there.